Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video is just going to be yet another storing new photo cards in my binders video. This is actually, I feel like I've done this like really recently, even though I think I, the last time I did these, <laughs> this sort of video was like two, three, four weeks ago, but I don't know. I rarely do these so often, but I have been trading a lot if you guys have been watching my collective hauls or just you know, my unboxings in general. Yeah, like literally the pile is just insane and it's been adding up. I usually put my photo cards in like a little glossier bag and that bag can't even like close anymore because of the amount of stuff I need to put away. So yeah, without further delay, I'm just gonna go ahead and start storing these photo cards in because yeah, that, <laughs> that bag is gonna burst anytime soon, so. Yeah, that's what this video is gonna be. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. This video is actually sponsored by Skillshare. Y'all don't know what Skillshare is. It's basically an online learning community with thousands of classes for creative and curious people like you and me. A lot of people always ask me about how to start a K-pop YouTube channel, whether it's about editing videos or making thumbnails or whatever. And Skillshare is definitely the perfect start to learn how to do all these things. There are literally so many classes about editing using different video editing programs and how to grow your channel. And not even just classes about YouTube, you can literally find classes about anything on there, like learning another language, for example, you know, Korean, cooking, and just basically anything. So personally, I always have a lot of trouble using Procreate, which is an app that I use to make my thumbnails. And I love how there's literally so many different classes that I can take to help me use Procreate better and just to make more pop and thumbnails, you know? So as you guys can see here, I'm taking the ink illustration techniques in Procreate class by Liz Kohler Brown. Yeah, you can take as many classes as your heart desires, all for less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. But the first thousand people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership. So yeah, definitely check the link in my description and start your free trial to Skillshare and just start learning, you know? So yeah, thank you so much again for Skillshare for sponsoring and let's get back to the video. So starting off, we have my alt binder and all my alt stuff is actually right here. So yeah, let's just go ahead and start. So if before you guys like, ask anything no this is not the storing like 17 photo cards video that's a separate video so if you guys are waiting for that i still haven't gotten everything yet so that's why you know i'm not gonna do that today and i want that to be like its own separate video because that's like way more photo cards as well so if i put it all in one video it's gonna be too much so yeah that's why that's gonna be a separate dedicated video but i am gonna put some like 17 stuff away just like for other members so there's that, but yeah. And also my in my old binder, Vernon is no longer here because he's in my like other 17 binder. So yeah, t this binder is just Hyunjin and Mark. So there's that. But anyways, I'm very excited because I did actually finish my Hyunjin photo card collection, which I am so happy about. So yeah, I recently did some trades and I traded for all three of these. I didn't even need to buy any of the photo cards I was about to, but I didn't even end up needing to, so yeah, thank you to everyone who traded with me, but yeah, let's just go ahead and sleeve these first. So yeah, I definitely have been loving these Ultra Pro sleeves lately, like, I don't know, I feel like they just protect the card so well, and they, like, make it look a lot more, like, official and, like, precious, I guess, like, compared to just, like, a normal cheap old penny sleeve. I definitely think it's worth the investment. I know they're slightly more expensive than penny sleeves, obviously, but, you know, I feel like instead of just buying penny sleeves for, like, temporarily, I feel like it's just better to just invest in, you know, like, these. <laughs> so, I mean, not, wait, why did I do this? I meant these, these Ultra Pro sleeves. They're not that expensive on Amazon, so yeah, I definitely recommend getting these. Just They're just better overall, so I'm glad I finally was able to get those. I'm not really sure where to put this. Should I, like... I mean, it fits in here, so I guess I'll put it in there. I'll just, like, sleeve it from the bottom, but yeah, this is such, like, a weird, like, thing. Like, it's like a bookmark or something. Should I... Is it even worth double sleeving this? I don't think so. Um... Where should I put it? Like, oh, it doesn't cover the photo card that bad. So I guess I'll put that here just for now. And then, 
Oh yeah, I was about to put this in here, but then I realized that I put all my units in my Stray Kids binder, so I'm gonna put that off to the side for now. And then I have this one. This is kind of a random card. It's one of the pre-order benefits that they did for Go Live, actually. And I found it for super cheap. Not super cheap, but like a good price. So that's why I decided to buy it. So yeah, this is so random, but it's a really cute card. And it's like a special card, so I guess I'll put it in here. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Hyunjin. There's not that much, but I did finish his in-life collection, so I'm very happy about that. As for Mark photo cards, I have kind of been slacking, especially for Resonance, because it's so hard to find trades for his photo cards, so I'm really sad about that. Um, I don't even know how I'm gonna, you know... Oh, I just hit my camera. I don't even know how I'm gonna get the Kino ones. I joined a group order, but I highly doubt I'm gonna be able to get it, so hopefully I can, like, find a trade or something, because... They're gonna be so expensive, but yeah. Okay, let me go ahead and open a new pack of sleeves. By the way, I don't sleeve all my photo cards. I only use these Ultra Pro sleeves for like, I guess like my old cards and like my precious cards or whatever. So yeah, so that's why I don't ult, I mean, I don't sleeve all my cards cause that would be way too many sleeves. Hmm, so the only resonance photo cards I have are the um, yearbook card, the normal one, obviously. And I accidentally traded for it twice, so that's why I have two of them. So I need to sell or trade one of these. Um, and then I actually did find a trade for one of his resonance photo cards, so I'm super happy about that. So hopefully I get that soon. Um, I guess I'll just put this here. I don't know, I haven't really planned out my mark binder super well. Oops, that's backwards. But okay, so this is the final round and then wait should I even put resonance here I mean I guess I should since I put empathy there um I'll put it here so that his past and future cards go there and then this is just an extra so where shall I put this um should I just make like an extra page for it I guess oh shoot I don't even have extra pages with me hold on Okay, I'm back. Um, I don't know how long I'm gonna leave these in for, but for now, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna put this in its own separate page. But I will get rid of it soon, since this is an extra, but... I guess I'm looking for Lucas or Genos's yearbook card, so if you guys wanna trade, just hit me up for that. I'm kinda too lazy to put it up for trade myself, so... Yeah, I'll just leave that there for now, that's so weird, I know. And then we have some Super M cards as well. I'm still missing one of his um, older cards, so I'm really sad about that. But we do have these two, so we'll go ahead and put those away. So this is for the American press. And then they came out with an Asian press, so like or like a Korean version of the album. And there's different photo cards for that. I haven't even bought like the Korean version albums because I feel like it's not really worth it. Like I am saving my money for other stuff. So that's why I haven't bought it. It's like exactly the same, just with different photo cards and like a, an, extra, an extra like poster or something. So personally, I don't think it's that worth it. So I'm not even gonna bother get that, getting that. I'm just gonna see if I can get the photo card somehow, <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm gonna, these are like um, concert cards. So I'm gonna move those aside so I can put the ID cards. I only have one of the ID cards. I still haven't found the other ones yet, but whatever. I'll just put this here and then the other two will fit perfectly here. And then I guess for this one, I'll put this on like the extra pages thing. Wait, why don't I? Okay, these are for Japanese albums and these are like special photo cards. So actually I'll go ahead and take these ones out and dedicate their own page to it since they are having a Japanese comeback. Not really soon anymore. It was supposed to be in December, but I, I heard that they postponed it to February, I think, which is really nice because, you know, like <laughs> there's always so much that happens in December. So I'm really glad that they postponed that. So yeah, I'll put those there for now. And then let me go ahead and another page for this there we go and then we just have this super m postcard um this is not gonna fit in here oh wait there's something already in here okay i'll just go ahead and put this here oh <gasps> oh shit this doesn't even fit in here what how does this not fit in a two pocket what how am i supposed to store these then uh what I am so confused. Um, I don't want to put it in a one pocket page because I don't feel like it. So 
I think what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna <laughs> take another two pocket page out and then I'm just gonna put it vertically like this. I know that's unsatisfying, but like it, like it barely fits. I don't know why they made this postcard so big. I didn't even realize it was gonna be that big. Okay, but I also forgot to put this away. I finally have one of his final round Kinos and I'm so happy about that. Someone was willing to trade like one of my Neozone ones. So I was like, okay, great, I'll take it. So, um, oh my God, I'm literally running out of space everywhere. But I mean, I'm gonna need another page anyways because he has more photo cards. So I'll go ahead and I will put this and then wait is this my first mark kino card i think i this is literally my first mark kino card i don't even have a superhuman one that's kind of sad okay um wait then i'll go ahead and put this here just to like match everything you know um this is this will go right here and then i'll start his resonance photo cards over here okay wow that took forever but that was my old spinder let's just go ahead and move on to the next one all right moving right along we have our stray kids binder We're, there's quite a lot of stray kids stuff actually since i've been getting extra copies for like different reasons so yeah and also oh crap i have something from mark in here uh i'm gonna put that away later <laughs> But anyways, I also have this. This was from my Bai haul, like my second Bai haul. And I totally forgot to store this in my previous storing video. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those away right now. But we have so many in life photo cards. So yeah, let's just go ahead and start putting those away. I don't, I think I only have one IN card. Dude, literally, I don't know what's up with my luck lately, but I have not been pulling IN at all, which is so weird. Like I've been pulling so many different members except for IN and I've been getting a lot of extra copies for this album and yeah like literally this is the only IN card I have and this is like the um with drama hollow card so yeah that's really sad and really wish that I would pull more of his cards low-key even though I don't collect his cards anymore and I only collect Hyunjin like do you see this like I haven't pulled one of his cards since Yellowwood like seriously like that is so sad so yeah, okay, we'll just go ahead. I mean, I guess if you exclude this one, but yeah, I haven't been pulling his cards at all. So that's really weird. I don't know why. I just have terrible eye and luck, I guess. Um, I don't have any Cheezong photo cards either. What the hell? Yeah, I haven't been pulling Cheezong in albums lately. Oh, what happened to that? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have any Cheezong photo cards. Nope, that is so sad. Okay. He's another member I low-key want to start collecting, but I have him pulling his cards, so yeah. Okay, we actually do have some Felix cards. That's exciting. So, okay, these are special photo cards. I'll make this their own page, but anyways, let's see. Um, we have this album photo card. Funny enough, I actually traded this photo card for um, a Hyunjin photo card, I think, and then <laughs> I ended up um, pulling this photo card again in one of my extra copies, and I really like this photo card, so thank goodness. I haven't been pulling any like selfie photo cards from this album. I mainly just pull units and, um, well, I think you pull units in all the albums, but I haven't been pulling any selfie cards like these. So that's really sad. Okay, wait, that's the only album photo card there is. And then I just have like a bunch of like special, like, um, I guess special pre-order cards. Lately for my pre-order cards, I've been pulling Felix and Seungmin so often. Like I always pull Seungmin, but I've been pulling Felix a lot recently too, so that's really interesting. Um, this one actually though, uh, oh, this is for In Life, okay. Oh, these are all for In Life. Oh yeah, okay. So this one I actually traded for cause I was just like, whatever. I'll just trade for him since he's one of my favorite members. And then we have this one, this one's the Sub K like pre-order card and then sub k had to go ahead and release another card for the video call and these ones are so much cuter by the way and since i ordered these separately like um i ended up pulling felix twice so that's kind of unfortunate but i am still looking for kyunjin's card so if you guys want to trade i also have sungmin's as well so if you guys want to trade felix or sungmin for hyunjin's video call card please let me know because hyunjin's is seriously so amazing and i really want his card so hit me up on my trade instagram if you always want to try it but yeah and then here's this one um yeah i'll just leave this here okay there's that and then i've been pulling a lot of pang chan which is strange i usually don't pull him either but 
I guess my Pangshan look has been climbing, so yeah, wait, I literally- oh shit, I just spit on this card, oops. <laughs> wait, I just realized that I pulled all of his cards, what the heck? Oh my god, so I literally completed Pangchan's set without even, like, trading or anything, like, I pulled all of them. How funny, OMG. Yeah, because I- in life only has three photo cards, so... Wow, I really got lucky with that. I wish that happened to me with Hyunjin, but... Whatever. Okay, let me push this down, and then... I also pulled this, I pulled two of these. <clears throat> oh god, my voice. The only thing I didn't pull is his pre-order benefit card, but I don't really care about that, so... Yeah, look, I literally pulled this entire set, wow. And I got his, um, with drama holo card, too. <laughs> wow, lately I've been Seungmin and Pangchan blessed. Which I guess is nice, so... Okay, and then we have zero Lino cards. I always pull Seungmin, so again, no surprise there, but we have this one. This one is his sub cape video call card. Again, really want to get Hyunjin, so if you guys want to trade, just literally hit me up. But yeah, I've been pulling Seungmin so frequently, like since the beginning of my Stray Kids collecting journey. Not a bad thing, but oh yeah, also his With Drama Limited holo card. Do you see? Look at all these <laughs> pre-order cards. I literally always pull Seungmin. It's crazy. Okay. But yeah. Okay, let me put these all in one row. Oh wait, I just realized all of these are like purple themed. That's actually really cute. Aww. Love the aesthetics of that, so... Yeah. But anyways, there's that. And then... I don't have any Changbin cards, unfortunately. I don't pull Changbin either. I always pull the same members in Stray Kids, I just realized that. But, oh yeah, let's put away our um, Yuna cards. So I did finally finish my Dance Racha um, set. I traded for one, and then I pulled this one in my extra copies. So there's that. And then, hmm, what else do we have? Oh yeah, we have this Seungmin and Ayan unit. There's three units per, there's three cards per unit, I believe. Oh, that's really satisfying. That fills up the entire page if I ever collect all of them, but... And then we have the Suridacha one, and then these are my extra ones. So if you guys want to trade, I guess I'll trade for like one of the ones I'm missing. So again, just hit me up. But I will put these... Hmm... Where should I put these? I guess I'll just leave- no, actually I want those to be left alone. I'll just put these here, because why not? Okay, last but not least, we have these giant things. I don't know why I decided to get this, it's so random, but I just found it on Mercari and I was just like, I'll just get it, so let me put these away. Okay, these are all put away, and that wraps up the Stray Kids binder. This binder is getting so full. Oh my god, do you see that? That is not a good sign, but yeah, there was this. Okay, kind of need to pick up the pace here, because I've been taking a long time, <laughs> and I've only been through two binders, and I have so many left, so yeah, let's just quickly go through this. So I do have one BTS card, actually. I have this one. This is the School of Affair, the special edition card. I did end up buying it, but... And I did film an unboxing for it, but I just decided not to post it. I don't know, I just didn't really feel like posting it, so... Yeah, sorry if you guys wanted that unboxing, but that video is gone forever now, so... I apologize, but... Anyways, okay, so I did pull RM, and... Okay, let's fill this row, let's complete it. Oh wait, let me put these in error order real quick. Put that there. This card is like strangely like flimsier than like their normal cards, so that's a little strange, but okay, let me put these here. And then oh these cheap penny sleeves. I hate them. I used to use these, so yeah, like they're so hard to put in. Oh, I hate them, but gotta deal with it. Oh, there's something in here. 
Again, I don't sleeve all my cards, so that's why these ones are going in with no sleeve. So I apologize if that triggers you, but the rest of these cards are all NTT, so let's put these away. I don't know if it's weird that I put away like Super M cards in like their respective groups. <laughs> Is that weird? Instead of just putting them in a Super M like my section. I don't know. I feel like I like seeing all the members cards together, which is why I do that. No shade or anything, just that's just my reasoning. I like the satisfaction of seeing all of them together. So yeah, okay. Oh, I need a new page for John A. Double of his yearbook cards. So again, if you guys are look if you guys want to trade your Geno or Lucas um photo card, yearbook card, then hit me up. Or for just like a normal resonance photo card. I'll even trade for that, but I did end up pulling two Jones. Why is there a hair here? Gross. And then I pulled Chaehyun's photo card. I didn't put this up for trade originally because I wanted to keep it and I wanted to see if I can trade it. But at the at this rate, like I cannot find Mark's photo card for my life. So I might just end up trading this, but not exactly sure yet. So don't hit me up yet, but I'm considering trading it, but this card is so pretty. So I don't want to. And then we have this one Taeyong card. I also didn't put this up for trade because I thought this card was so cute. So yeah, <laughs> like look at this. There's, he's like taking a selfie of himself in the monitor. How cute is that? I can't complain. So putting that away and then, oh yeah, these are just random members, but all these members are wavy. I just realized, wow, I just realized that. I only have wavy members left, weird. So yeah, okay, not gonna put those there because I put wavy all together. So, okay, I do have Lucas. I have this one Lucas card. And these are different like special cards. So let me just go ahead and take these out. I need to do so much reorganizing because it's such a mess. I don't really like, I don't know. I'm just really terrible at organizing my cards. So there's that, leave me alone. I'm aware that it's not satisfying. But anyways, okay, and these are the wavy cards, so I'll just go ahead and put these away. So this is 10. Oh, I could put this up here. Awesome. And then these are for resonance, but I'll just put these away here. And then I'll just put my remaining Lucas cards here, because why not? Okay. Oop, you saw my little little weights thing right here because I'm filming on top of a poster. Okay, wow, okay, that was really quick. This, this is the pace I need to start putting these photo cards away. I need to stop blabbering. Oh my god, I just fully exposed that. <laughs> That's my other portable charger that I'm using as a weight. This poster I'm filming on is a 17 poster, so it's tiny, but I'm going home this weekend, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab like an EXO poster or something because SM posters are huge, so I have a bigger surface to work with, so. Yeah, don't worry, this is just my temporary setup. I don't need to put any GOT7 away. They are having a comeback soon, so I need to look a, keep an eye out for that. But I do have lots of AT's Mingi cards to put away because I've been doing a lot of AT's trading, so very happy with that. But yeah, so I have his the debut album photo cards, second album, and then I have his um, wave cards finally. Super happy about that. Um, what's after a wave again? Um, oh yeah, Wonderland. Okay, here's this one. I don't know why I just like forgot. And then I don't think I traded his other, oh wait. Oh yeah, I ended up accidentally cross trading. That was my mistake. So I'm such an idiot. But anyways, let's just forget about that. We have answer and then we have this one. This one is his, whatchamacallit, um, the, the, their latest comeback. <laughs> And then, oh, this one's also answer. Okay, so I'll just put this one right here. Oh wait, let me just move this here real quick. Okay, let me put this here. This is for the anniversary. And then this is answer, okay. And then I actually found a trade for both of his Japanese cards with the same person. So shout out to you, whoever traded with me. But yeah, okay, that's it. That was really quick again. Again, a great pace. And then we have our final boy group um, binder. <laughs> I'm struggling with my words here, but this is where I put a bunch of my treasure and 17 stuff. So again, this is, I have like three 17 binders. I just realized, wait, do I have three? Wait, no, I have two binders. What am I saying? So this binder is just for the rest of my 17 members that I collect. 
or just like pull or whatever. And then I also have one, I mean two EXO cards and then all these treasure cards that I've been doing some trades with. So yeah, I've been stepping up my trade game and I'm proud of myself for that. Okay, this Kai card will, oh shoot, no, actually, let me separate these. So this is like his Super M cards, I guess. So I did get one of his Super M cards from Super 1. Oh my god, wait. I just realized this is like Amazon. This is the Amazon logo, but like it says a different thing on it. What the heck? <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, and then I have a Peckham card. Finally, just I just randomly traded this, but this is for... Oops, I need to center this. But I had a duplicate of this card and then I ended up trading it. So yeah, this card is so cute though. Him with like the smiley balloon. Oh, love that. Okay, and then we have 17. So first of all, we have this tragedy. I did end up finding like the remaining three members I needed for a decent price. And then I just bought them. I spent an extra $12 though. Like if only I didn't get like a, what do you call it? Like a mismanufactured photo book, I guess. And for three members too, like not just one or two, three members. So I needed to spend an extra $12. I literally could have just bought an extra photo book <laughs> with that money, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I'll be fine. So yeah, definitely not salty about that. But I'm not going to put away the members that I collect in a separate binder. I want to... If I have like an OT13 set, I want them to all be together. And this is for like a concert photo book. So yeah, I don't want to separate these. Oh wait, I should put these in age order, huh? I don't know the age order. Let me look it up real quick. Not me going on K profiles. <laughs> Guys, I don't memorize like member order and stuff like that. So please don't judge me. Oh wait, I don't even have S Coops. He was one of the members I was missing. Okay, great. Oh, I don't have Chung Han either. Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> so I don't even have the first two members, but they are on their way. So the person I bought it from shipped them out today. So hopefully I get them within like, you know, like the next two to three days. But I'm gonna go ahead and sleep these because I love 17, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I know that sounds so like favoritism. That's like favoritism or something, but my sleeves are very limited, so don't judge me. Okay, I don't have June also, so that's great. <laughs> these three are literally missing. Awesome. Still very salty about that. Like, ugh. oh wait, what? Oh, okay. I thought I was missing Hoshi too, but Hoshi's right here. Oh wait, no, that's where June belongs. I do also have an extra Wuji. I haven't been able to sell it yet. No one really wants it. So if you guys want this extra Wuji card for $5, hit me up. But I don't know, like at this point, should I just like give it away or something? I mean, Miss Chebom, AKA Randy is a huge Wuji stand. So uh, Randy, if you're watching this, you might be getting a little something in your PO box. I'm not sure yet, <laughs> but yeah. And the extra Uji card will go right here for now. Okay, and then, oh, let me close this binder. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh yeah, and then I have some extra like album cards for 17. So I will put those away as well. I just have a bunch of these like random goodies and stuff. So yeah, okay. Oop. How should I organize these? I kind of just put them all on one page, but okay. So so this is, um, okay, this is You Made My Dawn because I bought a signed You Made My Dawn album recently. So these came with the photo cards. I mean, th these photo cards came with the album. So I'll put those right there and then an ode. Let me scoop these down. These will live right here. Extra Hengare. Oh, I didn't even realize this June was here. Extra Hengare cards and then... Oh wait, this is a special card. Let me put that aside for now. And then we have extra, um, what do you call this? Semicolon. <laughs> I'm still missing Mingyu, Togyum, and Myungo's photo cards. So yeah, hit me up if you want to trade. I literally say that like 10 times in this video, but I'm just saying, if you guys want to trade, then uh, hit me up. And then we have 24 hours. I actually did finish Vernon's 
um, 24 hour collection. So very happy about that. I don't have this M like infinity card. So again, you know the drill. <laughs> and then we just have these like extra freebie thingies. How should I store these? Um, oh shoot, I just realized these are Japanese cards. Okay, let me put the Japanese cards with the Japanese cards. That will make much more sense. Oh, this doesn't even fit in the nine pocket page. Okay, I guess I'll use a four pocket then. So put these towards the end. I mean, does this fit in here? Nope. <laughs> They made these just strangely large, obnoxiously large, if you will. Along with this photo card, like what the F? Okay, so I'll put that there and then I'll put this here. These are up for trade for members I'm missing. So just check my wish list. And then this, these are just random. What do I even do with these? This is the last unit I have, again, trading to the units I'm missing. That one can go, this one can't fit in here, right? Nope. Okay, Um. let's see. I mean, I put Hoshi's back here, so I guess I'll put Sun Quan's back here as well. My extra little like YMMD stuff. And then I have these two fold out postcards. Oh, damn it, I wanted these to fit like this. Why does this two pocket page have to be so small? Why can't it be like up to here, you know? That would be way more convenient. I guess I have to just keep these folded then. Um, unless these fit in here. Oh, these fit in here like this, okay. Yeah, I have to keep it folded unfortunately, but just know I have both of them. <laughs> and then um, these are just my extra Vernon cards that I have for sale. So I'll just put these in here for now. Just being a little lazy. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about treasure. Oh wait, treasure's at the end. So yeah, I have this giant stack, stack of cards and these are all from chapter two, which is insane. So let's go ahead and put these away. Wait, which I need to separate these by chapter one and chapter two, hold on. Cause the photo cards look very similar. Okay, I only have two chapter one cards. So it's of uh, these two. Um, How should I set this up? I'm not like a hundred percent like confident with my organization but i'll put hyunsuk here and then um hmm how should i do this okay i'll put i have two haruto cards so i'll put these here i'm really sad though that i don't that i don't really have any selfie cards of my biases i just have these like concept cards and like like far away cards and stuff this is the only selfie card i have for chapter one that's my bias and that's mashiho Hopefully I'm able to get more of the photo cards. The thing that Loki makes me salty though is the group order manager that I ordered with, like um, she literally put up so many like photo cards for sale, like treasure photo cards for sale. And she had like different like Haruto and like Mashiho cards that I didn't have and she didn't give them to me. So kind of strange, but you know what? That's out of my control. It's fine, I'll survive, so. I just have this like one random chapter one card. Um, I'll just go ahead and just put this like here, just like on the second page. Like I'm not collecting like treasure photo cards like seriously, so I'll just put these together. I'm not gonna, I'm not just gonna give this one card its own page. That's really weird. So we'll go ahead and start with the chapter two. I did end up getting a lot more Mashiho, so yeah, very happy about that. Not like happy that I didn't really get any like selfie cards. I just got, again, these like far away cards. Cause the selfie cards are so, especially Hyunsuk's cards, they're so cute, but I don't end up like trading for them or pulling them. So that makes me really sad. Ooh, let me put the K-Town for you cards together. So I did end up getting Mashiho's like um, pre-order K-Town cards, which are so cute. This card is so cute. So I'm very happy to have this. And then that's it. And then I only have one Hyunsa card, which is his other like pre-order card. And then I have these two Haruto cards. This card is really cute, by the way. And then these, I'll just put these on a separate page. Oh, how convenient that I put another page right here. This card is actually so cute as well. Chaehyuk is like my fourth bias, I guess you can say. This card is really cute. So very happy to have that. Okay. 
And then we just have this postcard left. Oh, why is there an extra page here? What the heck? Free page. And then, oh wow, it perfectly fits in here. Yay. Okay. Damn, this video is getting hella long, but let's move on to our girl groups, finally. I actually have a lot of girl group cards because there's been a lot of, well, not a lot, but there's been two girl group releases. There's Twice and then there's Black Pink. So let me put away my Twice cards first. I did make the executive decision to collect Chaeyoung. So I recently like reorganized my Twice um, photo card binder. So for my OT9 sets, I really want to keep these two from Twice Instagram because literally they are so cute. There's a reason why I collected them. Like the Instagram theme one and the Polaroids. All the cards are so cute, so I decided to keep those. And then this is my Chaeyoung collection so far. I have been doing a lot of trading for like Eyes Wide Open and stuff, so there's that. Oh wait, do I have my Chaeyoung Eyes Wide Open cards? Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm saving those for a future video, but <laughs> yeah, that's it for now. And then let's just go ahead and put away the rest of my Twice cards. These are the rest of my Twice cards. And then we're gonna need some extra pages. This is like the right amount. But I'm just gonna put these in randomly. Ooh, actually, you know what'll be fun if I put them in like member order. And I I know twice as member order because um they released that twice song a really long time ago, the Na Yang Yi Chong Ya Momo Sana Gio Mina. And I was like a huge twice stan. Like they were like my ults when I first got into K-pop, so <laughs> that's why I still remember this song. So that's how I know the order for twice. <laughs> Literally, like, I don't really know the rest of the order members for, like, my other groups. So, Nayeon, Chung, and Momo's Hana, Chi Hyo, Mina, and then Taehyun, and then Chewy. Oh, wow. Okay, I kind of got a little... I went a little overboard. Do the message cards fit in here? Probably not. Oh, they do. Oh, perfect. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and put the message cards in here. Oh shoot, they stick out. Okay, let me put these in like at the bottom corner. Or, mm, okay, let me put these here actually. Sorry if this is like such a random way to put away the cards, but I need to think about future cards, you know? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> this is such a random page, lol. Okay, let's put away these pre-order cards now. Literally the main reason why my um, Twice binder is so thick is because is because of the pre-order cards. Like literally, all of these are just pre-order cards, <laughs> and they have like three versions too. So it's like so many. Let's go ahead and put these away. Okay, and then we have the group cards. Oh shoot. Okay. I'm gonna put these in a different page because I do have three more of these. So those will go somewhere else, but quickly put away these group cards. And then let's make a separate page for these random, like what do they call them? Like the most cards or something. It's so weird. I don't know why they do that, but I mean, it's cool. So not complaining, more free stuff. I do have to take it out of the plastic though, which I wish I didn't have to do because like, you know, like extra protection is key, but they don't fit with this like plastic thing. So I do have to take it out and I don't want to like waste sleeves on these because they're not like, you know, like a priority card or whatever. So I'm just going to take them out and leave them right here. I don't know if they're going to have another album where they do this. So this might just be empty for the rest of, you know, that till the end of time, but it's fine. And then, oh shoot, I realized I have my like extra like pre-order envelopes in like a separate binder. So where do I put these then? I guess I'll just put these somewhere else along with these envelopes. So weird. Okay. Is that it for, yeah, I think that's it for twice. And then we have another grow group stuff to put away. So here's the rest of my grow groups. They all fit in this binder. And then these are just a random grow group. <laughs> photo cards I have. So these are, this is from a group where that I joined for Randy's like fan, fan sign thing. And then these are literally all black pink cards. Do you see all these group cards though? Oh my God, that is so strange. But let's just go ahead and quickly put these away. So 
where am I doing? Okay, let's see. So let's go ahead and put these away. Oh my god, wait. Are these all of Ryujin's? I don't think they are. Wait, are they? I don't know, but luckily I got this one. And then and then this is her sub K card, the fan sign one, this Yeji card. And oh, I don't have this unit yet either. Oh, perfect. Thanks, Miss Randy. And then, okay, that's it for Itzy. And then I just have a shit ton of Blackpink cards. This is so sad though, like how many years has it been now since Blackpink debuted? And this, I literally only have one page of photo cards. <laughs> like I don't collect Blackpink cards, but these are just all from like pulls. So that's really sad, <laughs> but we can finally put some more photo cards away. So yeah, yeah. So I have a bunch of these cards. I'm really sad that I didn't order Blackpink's album from K-Town for you. I mean, like obviously I was gonna get them from Target and since I don't collect Blackpink like photo cards, I wasn't gonna buy like extra copies of their albums. So I was like, nah. But then I watched uh, Katie's video, her unboxing for um, Blackpink's albums and she ordered from K-Town for you. And the photo cards are so stinking cute. Like literally there's one with Rosé and a dog and it's so cute. Like they're so much cuter. Like even though I love these like Polaroid style cards, like the selfie ones that they had, oh, they are so cute. I'm just like, damn, I should have ordered like one or two copies from K-Town for you. Damn it. But it is what it is. I mean, they're not like essential, so it's fine. How should I even organize these? This is so weird just having a bunch of the same group card, but I mean, I have eight of them, I think. So, oh wait, so I'll have this entire page just of the same photo cards, well, two different photo cards. And then I have this card, which is from the How You Like That album, and it fits perfectly here. Oh wait, I should put this in the middle. This kind of looks like a little ritual, a Blackpink group ritual, <laughs> lol. Okay, and then I have a bunch of postcards as well. How should I store these? Um, okay, instead of putting this in like a three pocket page, I'll use four pocket pages since it's more like convenient, I guess, organized. Okay, I have eight and then this one, that makes it nine. <gasps> oh no, where should I put this then? Uh, okay, actually, <laughs> let me uh, quickly put back this three pocket card. <laughs> page. For now, I'm just, I know it's not the most organized thing in the world, but for now, I'm just gonna leave this in here and maybe if there's future albums, I'll like put extra postcards like there. But since I have four pocket pages and there's eight postcards total, obviously I'm just gonna, you know, just do two pages like this. That'll be a lot more pleasing to the eye. So, um, let me put these two, oh my god, my friend is like texting me right now. But what is she texting me about? I'll find out later, but let's put the same postcards together like this. <laughs> I have these two duplicates. I don't even want to like trade them. I'm too lazy to, so yeah, but there's that. And then I didn't pull a single Chisu postcard, which makes me sad because I like pulling like all the members, but it is what it is. So yay, perfect. And then, okay, so that's it. And we just have one quick little last thing. We have my miscellaneous slash solo binder. And then I just have, this is just super M stuff, but it's for Temin and like group stuff. So since I don't have a super M section and I don't want to like, you know, just put it, put them in randomly, I'm just going to put them in here. So I have this Temin uh, ID card. And then I have a bunch of these freaking Super M group cards because I just had literally the worst luck and I pulled like so many of the same group cards. I mean, I don't mind group cards that much because, you know, it's like all the members technically, but uh, you know, if I pull them this many times and instead of like solo photo cards, like that one time I pulled two group cards, like I was so like sad. Like, damn, I could have gotten a solo photo card, but instead I got these group ones, so yeah. And then I just have these um, oh, what is this extra page doing here? What? Why are there extra pages here? Oh yeah, because I um, had my TXT stuff in here, but I recently started selling my TXT albums because I don't collect them anymore, unfortunately. Um, how should I? This does not fit. Oh yeah, <gasps> wait a minute. These are too big for two um, 
pocket sleeves. I forgot. Okay, so this is such a crappy thing to do. I hate this, but I just have to, I just have to do them, put it like this. So I'm just gonna put this Temin one here and then I'm just gonna put this. It will be so satisfying if, if it fits like this, but I can't. So it has to go like this. It sucks, I know, but whew, I think that is pretty much it. So let me put, oh yeah, I have one last thing to put away. This little like postcard thing that I got as part of like a Bai like thingy for Mark for like his ace kit thing. <sighs> let me just put it away now so that I can just get this thing over with, you know? This will go right here. Yay. Okay, now that was everything. So holy crap, it's been like an hour of me just filming. Oh my God. I did not expect to film this long, but that was just so many cards. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys watched till the end of this video, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. I'm sorry I didn't like, I'm not usually as chatty as I was in my previous, like, you know, my usual photo card storing videos, but I just don't really have that much to talk about. And I don't know, I feel like I don't want this video to be way too long. So I'm not gonna, I wasn't talking the entire time, but yeah, sorry if you guys wanted to know more about my, my life and stuff. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys. Peace.